Hii mazungumzo yanaendelea na uongozo na Mheshimiwa Kalonzo. Hapo hakuna kitu mgoje. There is nothing for you to eat from there. And I want to assure you that I'm in full support and the government is in full support of successful conclusion of the bipartisan discussion. Na jambo na karibu tena mtazamaji wa Jitan Daily Politics mahali popote ulipo natumai hubweri wa hafia na halamisi yako imeanza kwa njia hiliyo shwari kabisa. Mtazamaji jana naibu wa Rais Rigathi Gashagwa alitofautiana na Chief Minister Musali ya Mudavadi ama Chief Minister Musali ya Mudavadi alitofautiana na naibu wa Rais Rigathi Gashagwa hakiwa mlima Kenya jana kuhusiana na bipartisan talks. Kama ulimsikiliza vizuri Musali ya Mudavadi jana na nitakuwa nakuwekea hiyo video hapo mbele kidogo usikilize jinsi ambavyo Musali ya Mudavadi alisema kwamba kama serikali ya Kenya kwanza wanatambua bipartisan talks na wanaheshimu bipartisan talks na wanajua kwamba kuna kitu kizuri kitatokea pale kwa bipartisan. Unafahamu kwamba bwana Rigathi Kashagwa amekuwa akisema kwamba pale uh, wanaharibu muda na pale hakuna chochote kitaweza kuzaliwa pale kwa bipartisan kwa hivyo pale ni kuharibiana muda tu na akawa anasema kwamba uh, viongozi ambao wanafanya bipartisan wanaharibu muda kwa sababu hakuna chochote kitaweza kuzaliwa pale na bipartisan na Kashagwa alizungumza akiwa ukambani akazungumza tena akiwa uko uh, yani amekuwa akizungumza kwa muda mrefu akiwa mlima Kenya akiwa ukambani akisema kwamba bipartisan ambayo inaendelea hakuna chochote kitaweza kuzaliwa pale lakini ajana tukamsikia Musali ya Mudavadi ambaye ndio chief minister akisema kwamba serikali ya Kenya kwanza inajua kwamba bipartisan inaendelea serikali ya Kenya kwanza inatambua kabisa bipartisan na inaheshimu maneno ambayo yanazungumzwa pale kwa bipartisan kwa hivyo uh, tunaweza tukashangaa unaweza ukashangaa ni kwa nini Rigathi Gashagwa anapinga bipartisan takuwa na kueleza hapo mbele kidogo ni kwa nini Rigathi Gashagwa anasikia akiwa ayuko safe bipartisan ikiendelea kuzungumza ama bipartisan ikiendelea kwa hivyo nataka kwanza kabla hujaendelea ni kuwekea hii video ya Musali ya Mudavadi usikie jinsi ambavyo alizungumza akiwa uko mlima Kenya jana akiwa na kinara wapa Dr. Steven Kalonzo Muzoga alafu ni kuambie ni kwa nini Rigathi Gashagwa anakuwa na uoga bipartisan talk ikiendelea kwanza tusikilize uh, bwana Musali ya Mudavadi alafu tuendelee. I want to assure you that I'm in full support and the government is in full support of successful conclusion of the bipartisan discussions or conversations that are taking place in parliament today. We want to see something positive come out of it. And we will go out of our way to make sure that we also see some positivity through that process. We have a country to defend, to protect, to live in, so we have no intention of walking away from that uh, particular responsibility. And as we look at the elections and we do the review, sooner or later, We are also going to make public uh, a draft bill so that there can also be proper public participation and dialogue around it on the issue of transition of executive authority. Because what we have is simply the assumption of office bill which basically just deals with the ceremony at the end of the day a committee is set up they prepare and they're just preparing for the swearing in of uh, the elected president and then it's basically done but transition and even as you talk of transition in this in this conversation transition is beyond assumption of office na mtazamaji huyo ni Chief Minister Musali ya Mudavadi kama umemmsikiliza kwa makini anasema kwamba bipartisan ambayo inaendelea hanaitambua na kama serikali ya Kenya kwanza wanaitambua kabisa na uh, kwamba wanajua kwamba kuna kitu, kitu kizuri kitatokea pale kwa bipartisan kwa hivyo amekuwa tofauti kabisa na Rigathi Gashagwa ambaye amekuwa akisema kwamba uh, bipartisan ni kuharibu muda kabisa na hakuna chochote kitaweza kutokea pale kwanza sikiliza kidogo Gashagwa jinsi ambavyo amekuwa akipingana na mambo ya bipartisan hii mazungumzo yanaendelea na uongozo na Mheshimiwa Kalonzo. Hapo hakuna kitu mgoje. There is nothing for you to eat from there. 
sasa 2018 Raila alienda hardship na uhuru Kenyatta hakumwambia Kalonzo hakuenda na ye akaenda akatengeneza deal yake na uhuru Kenyatta wakamalizana project zote alitoa kwa uhuru akapeleka kwa kuna project aleta hapa ukamani lakini nyinyi hata tuelewi nyinyi baada ya kufanyia nyinyi hiyo tena mkamfuata tena ukaanguka na ye so we are also encouraging bad habits your excellency we cannot allow an agenda to discuss at to audit the general election sisi tulikuchagua na wewe ulishinda and if anybody has a doubt it is not these people hiyo maneno tulimaliza so tunauliza that agenda should be dropped from the talks sikina waendele nayo ibc waendele kiti ya cabinet secretary prime cabinet secretary waendele hii agenda zingine zote waendele lakini wakiendelea rais mimi na wewe tuendelee kwa kazi ya maendeleo Hmm. So mtazamaji huyo sasa ni naibu wa rais Rigathi Kashagwa na umemmsikia hapo uh, ukimmsikiliza Kashagwa kabisa kabisa ni kwamba roho yake haipendi kabisa ama haitaki kabisa mambo ya bipartisan hata unamsikiliza za akiambia rais William Ruto kwamba uh, mambo ya kufanywa audit kwa uchaguzi ambao ulipita tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane hataki kabisa na utolewa kwa mazungumzo lakini pia akiwa ukambani akasema kwamba akaambia jamii ya wakamba kwamba mazungumzo ambayo yanaongozwa na Kalonzo Musyoka hakuna kitu kitazaliwa pale na ni kuharibu muda. Lakini jana umemmsikia msalia Mudavadi akisema kwamba mazungumzo ambayo yanaendelea serikali inayatambua na inajua kwamba kuna jambo ambalo litakuja kufanyika. Kwa hivyo tunaweza tukasema pengine Rigathi Gashagwa anaweza kuwa ataki mazungumzo yaendelee kwa sababu unafahamu kwamba pale kwa mazungumzo ambayo yanaendelea wanapendekeza ofisi ama wanapendekeza nafasi ya Prime Cabinet Secretary ambayo ni ofisi ya Amosali ya Mudavadi ambayo ni Chief Minister. Unafahamu kwamba sasa hivi Amosali ya Mudavadi yes ni Prime Cabinet Secretary lakini kulingana na katiba ya Jamhuri ya Kenya aruhusiwe kuwa chief minister kwa hivyo uh, hata mtu anaweza enda mahakamani na akaweza kupeleka petition na msali ya mudavadi akaenda nyumbani akapoteza kazi kwa sababu hiyo uh, nafasi yake haijaruhusiwa na haijakubaliwa na katiba ya jamhuri ya Kenya kwa hivyo pengine Rigathi Gashagwa anataka hiyo ndio anataka kwa sababu unafahamu kwamba Rigathi Gashagwa na msali ya mudavadi mwaka 2020 na, uh, na 30 na 32 wanatarajiwa kugombea kiti cha urais msali ya mudavadi anataka kuwa rais lakini pia Rigathi Gashagwa anataka kuwa rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya kwa hivyo uh, uenda ikawa ni uh, Rigathi Gashagwa anataka kumkata msali ya Mudavadi kwa mapema kwa sababu uh, ukiukweli sasa hivi mambo mengi ambayo msali ya Mudavadi anayafanya Kashagwa ni angekuwa anayafanya kwa sababu uh, umeona amekuwa kitumwa na William Ruto Uh, nje ya Kenya ametumwa kuweza kwa represent William Samoe Ruto mara nyingi nje ya Kenya hata kuliko naibu wa rais ambaye ni Rigathi Gashagwa kwa hivyo uenda ikawa Rigathi Gashagwa kwa moyo huwa uh, anaumia lakini hawezi akasema ndio watu wasichukulie vibaya kwa hivyo huenda kawa ataki mambo ya bipartisan kwa sababu anajua kwamba pale sasa uh, mazungumzo yakifanikiwa uh, ofisi ya ama nafasi ya chief minister itawekwa kabisa kwa katiba ya jamhuri ya Kenya na sasa msali ya Mudavadi atakuwa na nguvu kabisa na kuweza uh, kuwa na uhakika kwamba hata tolewa kwa nafasi yake mpaka mwaka 2027 na hata pengine mpaka mwaka 2032 wakati ambapo Chief Minister Musali Mudavadi alikwambia uh, kwamba atakuwa kwa debe na hata ulimsikia Moses Kuri a uh, Moses Wetangula akisema kwamba mwaka wa 2020 na 32 na mbili uh, waezi wakaunga mtu mwingine mkono watakuwa wamesimama na mtoto wao ambaye ni Moses Masika uh, ama ambaye ni Mos, uh, Musali Mudavadi Unaona mtazamaji kwa hivyo nadhani kwamba hiyo tu ndio imekuwa beef ya Rigathi Kashagwa pamoja na Moses Wetang wa msali ya Mudavadi kwa sababu hata ukiangalia msali ya Mudavadi amekuwa akitumwa sana kuliko Rigathi Kashagwa hata a, tumekuwa tukijiuliza maswali mbona Kashagwa atumwi anashinda tumu lima Kenya lakini msali ya Mudavadi yuko London siku tatu yuko Zambia yuko wapi anazunguka lakini Kashagwa yeye yuko na mambo ya kahawa huko Mlima Kenya na hatoki pale kwa hivyo nadhani kwamba hiyo inaweza kuwa ndiyo sababu ambayo Rigathi Kashagwa ataki bipartisan lakini Musali ya Mudavadi anataka bipartisan kabisa lakini ningependa kusikia maoni yako hapo chini katika sehemu ya comment section wewe unadhani ni kwa nini Kashagwa na Mudavadi wana uh, kwa sana kusokana ama wanatofautiana katika mazungumzo ambayo yanaendelea kati ya serikali ya Kenya kwanza na uh, upinzani ya bipartisan 
Tuachie maoni yako hapo chini katika sehemu ya comment section lakini pia cha msingi kabisa mtazamaji uh, usisahau kusubscribe hapa Jetan Daily Politics kwa sababu tutazidi kukufahamisha chochote kitakachokuwa kinaendelea kufanyika. Tuendelee kusubscribe tufamilie zidi kuwa kubwa tunaelekea helfu ishirini tuendelee kusubscribe jamani tufike helfu ishirini ndio familia zidi kuwa kubwa na tuendelee kujulishana mambo ambayo yanaendelea hapa hinjini Kenya mimi najulikana kama Jaitan in Jaitan Daily Politics kwa sasa bye bye lakini usiende mbali kwa sababu tunarejea na habari zaidi muda usio kuwa mrefu sana bye bye